What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Today we're going to have a little bit of an introduction series when it comes to competitive battling. Two factors that determine the stats of a Pokemon and sometimes determine the outcome of a battle. These two terms are known as EVs and IVs. This video is intended for those of you who are looking to start competitive battling or those of you who are intermediate players in Pokemon Sword and Shield when it comes to competitive battling. In this particular video, my goal is to teach you guys what EVs and IVs are, how important they are, and how they apply to competitive battling. So grab a pen and a paper, and let's go ahead and get started. EVs and IVs are terms that can get really confusing when you are just getting into competitive battling Pokemon Sword and Shield or any Pokemon game. Believe me, when I first started competitive battling, I was so confused as to what IVs and IVs were and how they applied to competitive battling. At one point in time, I didn't even want to bother breeding for natures, breeding for IVs, or training my Pokemon in their respective EVs to become as strong as they can possibly be. Let me tell you though, competitive battling is really, really fun, and once you master the mechanics, you'll be an ace trainer in no time. IVs are short for individual values. These are hidden stats that randomly apply to a Pokemon when they are caught or hatched from an egg. IVs are the basis of how strong a Pokemon will grow and are often more important than EVs because it determines how strong a Pokemon stat will be or how weak a Pokemon stat will be. For example, you can have two Blaziken, same exact nature, same exact EV spread, and same exact species of Pokemon. In this scenario, each Blaziken has a different IV in the speed stats. Since one IV is better than the other IV, the Blaziken with the higher IV in the speed stat will always outspeed the other Blaziken. IVs determine how much a Pokemon stat can go or how low a stat can go and sets the value to a specific number. This number is between 0 and 31. 0 being the worst and 31 being the best. To check a Pokemon's IVs, you need to first beat Leon in the Pokemon League. Once you defeat Leon, head towards the Battle Tower and win 6 matches. Once you do that, you'll be able to check a Pokemon's IVs within the PC and press the plus button when looking at the Pokemon that you're wanting to check the IVs for. Furthermore, a Pokemon's IVs will be measured by no good, decent, pretty good, very good, fantastic, and best. No good being at zero, Decent, anywhere between 1 and 15. Pretty good, anywhere between 16 and 25. Very good, between the numbers of 26 and 29. Fantastic, set number to 30. And best, 31. You'll generally want the IV checker to say best for the best value possible. Now we'll go ahead and talk about EVs. These are a little bit different than IVs, and they essentially apply the same role when it comes to competitive battle. EVs are effort values for shorts. EVs are values for each stat that a Pokemon can gain, in addition to EXP points. The stats that are valued are HP, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Pokemon can earn up to a maximum of 510 EV points, however, each Pokemon can only have 252 maximum EVs in a single stat. Every 4 IVs gained equals plus 1 in a stat value by the time the Pokemon becomes level 100. You may not see the stat points added right away, but stats will increase as the Pokemon levels up. This is why Pokemon battles at level 50 differ from Pokemon battles at level 100. In addition to this, Pokemon that you caught in the wild or Pokemon that have been hatched from an egg have zero EVs. Pokemon that have gained EXP points, on the other hand, have gained EVs with the exception of using EXP candies or rare candies. The best way to check your EVs in Pokemon Sword and Shield is to go to the Pokemon Summary screen and press the X button when looking at the stat page. The blue outline measures the EVs in the stats. If you see glimmering stars in one of the stats outlined in blue, this means that your Pokemon is maxed out in that stat in terms of EVs. This means that the Pokemon has 252 EVs in that stat. 
You can increase EVs in multiple ways. You can use Pokedrops, Proteins, or battle a specific Pokemon X number of times until you reach the EV spread you desire. I'm not going to talk about this so much because I want you guys to know what the basics of EVs and IVs are. However, we will cover EV training in depth in another video. You can also reduce EVs using stat reducing berries such as Pomeg berries, Kelpsy berries, Fallout berries, Hondu berries, Grepa berries, and Tomato berries. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about Pokemon natures and how they relate to EV and IV training. Pokemon natures are not 100% related to EVs and IVs, but I think it's an important thing to know as it also influences the Pokemon stats and performance when it comes to competitive battling. Natures define the Pokemon's personality, but it also affects the growth of a Pokemon. Each nature increases a stat by 10% while hindering another stat by 10%. Most of the time, trainers will have a nature that decreases the attack stat or special attack stat. There are a total of 25 natures, some of which boost and hinder a stat, and some that are neutral, meaning that it doesn't affect a Pokemon's stats at all. You can visit Cerebi.net for a list of natures and what stats are influenced. In conclusion, IVs are values that are determined when a Pokemon is hatched from an egg or caught in the wild. EVs, on the other hand, are values that are determined based on what Pokemon you battle, the proteins you give to a Pokemon, or what jobs you designate to your Pokemon. Natures tell a lot about a Pokemon's personality, but they also tell you what Pokemon's best stat is. And there you have it! IVs and EVs explained with a bonus lesson of natures. Thank you guys so much for watching, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon content. Next week, I'm going to teach you guys how to breed competitive Pokemon and how you can control IVs, that way your Pokemon is the best as can be. Nevertheless, I appreciate your guys' time for watching, and I will see you guys next time.